Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and today I am going to show you how to install some of the freeware available from Orbex Simulation Systems. Now if you guys don't know the name Orbex, well you will after this episode because this is one of the best scenery companies that I have known over the years. They are absolutely fantastic. Uh, their products are absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you how to install their FTX uh, scenery or whatever the scenery they have from FTX Central. So the first thing you're going to have to do is install FTX Central. You can just press here, get FTX Central, and you can, you can just go ahead and download and install it and it will look something like this. And then I'll show you exactly how it works. Now, of course, it does only work on Windows. So if this, if you have explain on a Mac or Linux it is going to be slightly different uh, I'm not going to be able to show you that but I will see if I can run you through what you need to do instead so as long as you've got Windows 7 8 8.1 or 10 um, that is all you need to get FTX Central so first thing you do download FTX Central and then I will show you how to install some of the freeware products Okay, so if we go over to Freeware, as you can see here, there are a bunch of Freeware products available on the Orbex website. Make sure you've got yourself an account, by the way. Um, so there's a whole bunch, and you can see here which simulator it is for. So this is for uh, Flight Simulator X or 10, Steam Edition, and Prepared Versions 1 through 4. Uh, you can see that for many of them, but every now and then, for example here, Echo November Hotel Alpha, uh, which is a Norwegian airport, I believe, uh, Echo November is Norway, is for X-Plane 11. There's another one for Norway, uh, Echo November Oscar Victor, again for Norway. And then we've got, down here, we've got, um, there is another one, L52, Lima 52, Oceano County Airport for X-Plane 11. And that is the one I am going to be showing you. So, if you just click on this, and when I mean I'm going to be showing you, I will... If you guys want, leave it in the comments box. I'll show you the other two in X-Plane 11 as well. Uh, so you can go to Oceano County Airport, click it, and you can see here, it says at the moment for me, it says open in FTX Central. Now, if it didn't say that, uh, for example, if I did that, it would say add to account. So what you need to do is you need to first click add to account and it will add it to your FTX, uh, to your Orbex account. Then you can open it in FTX Central just by clicking this button. Or you can do a manual download. Now if you've got, as you can see here, it says as we do not currently have a version of FTX Central available for Linux or Mac OS, you will see a cross-platform download option in your account. That's that manual download. This is a simple zip that you can extract into X-Plane 11 in the meantime until FTX Central is available for those other platforms. So all you have to do is download that and put that in your FTX, uh, sorry, in your X-Plane folder and it should sort it out for you. I assume you're supposed to put that in the add-on scenery folder. So outside of that, let's go into FTX Central and I'm going to hide my uh, email address, of course, but you can see over here, We've got categories, we've got Europe, North America, Oceania. Now, when you actually start FTX Central, it will ask you to not only log in, but select the simulator you're using. So this, of course, I've clicked explain. It will scan your computer and it'll pick up whatever simulators you have. So I have Flight Simulator 10 installed on this and I have explain 11 installed on this. So it asked me which one I want. So I clicked explain 11. And as you can see, I have downloaded all three of these uh, freeware. So we're going to go to North America. We're going to click on that. And as you can see, very simple. All we've got to do is press install product. And that is it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into X-Plane 11 and we're going to have a look at Lima 52 Oceano County Airport uh, in X-Plane 11 with default scenery. I don't even have the HD mesh on it. Default scenery will have a quick 10 minute look around, maybe 15 minutes, see the surrounding area, see the airport, see what it's like, and then I'm going to install this product and then show you it with it installed. And you are going to see the difference. So make sure that uh, you're following along with this and make sure that if you, if you do want to 
check this out before you install it. Make sure you watch the rest of this video because I will show you it before and after. So let's get straight in to the before. Okay, so we find ourselves in our lovely uh, little Arrow, Arrow 3, obviously one of my favorite aircraft, uh, which currently has its strobe lights on, which it shouldn't, so I'm actually going to switch that off uh, because that annoys me. Uh, that would be that light. And we'll switch that on. Uh, and we'll switch that on just because we can. Actually, we'll switch that off right now. So this is where we are. Uh, this is our area and let's have a quick look around uh, I think we can go into our free cam and we're just going to have a, a look around and then we're going to take to the sky and have a look at what it's like from the sky so we can see that we're pretty near uh, pretty close to an ocean I don't know this area of course that would make sense being a uh, what's this uh, Oceana Oce something like that county airport so it's a it's a small airport as you can see it's not it's not massive two runways runway uh, obviously well one runway runway 11 seems pretty okay this the area so it's got little uh obviously it's got a little town next to it it seems it's not really a little town it's not huge though i mean you can see that just say it's it's already the town's already ending so it's not it's not a massive town. We're talking about uh, a few miles, definitely just a few miles. So we're in California. There's the coastline or the shoreline. All right. So looking around, and I'm going to do this, of course, for a few moments, just to just to see what things are like, and ensure that we we have a really good idea of what this looks like at the start so we've got some trees over on this side I have to say the trees at the airport don't look that fancy I mean just having a look at these trees right now they don't look all too fancy uh, not the greatest of quality even the ground isn't isn't amazing quality here the texture resolution isn't amazing again this is default this is not Orbex we're about to go into Orbex soon enough and then we've got all the all the buildings around the area, which they look okay. I mean, there's nothing. They look American. They they definitely look American. The water here is a little bit awkward. That junction there is extremely awkward. I wonder if uh, that gets fixed. I hope that gets fixed. And then the the shoreline. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, I I wouldn't expect grass to be right up to the shoreline, like this, unless it's a uh, Unless it's some sort of key. No, there isn't. It's not a key. It does look like it should be a beach. Huh. Well, there we go. So that's having a quick look at that. Let's uh, let's take to the skies with our with our aircraft. There we go. Very easy to potter around in this aircraft. Make sure I've got enough fuel. Ah, uh, yeah, plenty of fuel. I don't know why I'm following it through like this. I just need to do this. One stage of flaps. Make sure you can go full rich. I'm not going to do any checks on this aircraft. I just hope it flies. Okay, it's not a long runway at all. Positive rate, gear up. Should have just adjusted the Q and H. Flaps in. All right, fantastic. I'm just going to move my head a little bit, a little bit up as we do this. I'm going to bring that back and the prop back just so we don't go too fast and uh, we can fly around so let's have a look around the area okay, I'm going to try and keep this uh, without sort of losing control of the aircraft so we're not focusing on this aircraft right now I'm just focusing on 
looking around. In fact, I'll tell you what I will do to look around. How are we looking on altitude? I think let's climb up to about one and a half thousand feet. But uh, let's actually go into heading hold. Yeah, let's do that. Um, there we go. That will make it easier. And then we're just going to swing around a couple of times and have a look at what we've got. Actually, this is an okay altitude. We we're not climbing over the mountains. So this looks to be a fairly all right altitude. Slightly low, I will say that. This is, a, this is low for the area. But I think we'll use our little piper trick there. And bring that mixture back a little bit, and then we'll turn. All right, so now we should be able to have a look out and about. So here we go, have a look around. So I wonder if it does cover, I mean, I doubt it will, but uh, it would be nice if it covered this city. So the airport and this city. Because it's not, it's not a huge city, as you can see. And it's, it is a very small area, but it's a good example, I think. If it did, it would be a good example of actually showing what Orbex is capable of. And they are capable of some amazing things. I will say that. Okay, so just having a really good look around this area before we swap over. There we go. Continue to have a look. How's our speed looking, actually? Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. And again, the, the important part about this is, is it's going to be, is it's going to be uh, freeware. It is going to be freeware. So as I mentioned, for freeware, we're about to see just how good it is. Okay. I must say, I do find these, these little patchworks a little bit strange underneath. I wonder if that gets fixed too. That would be interesting if that was fixed. Then we'll fly over the airport again, if I can find it. It's just there, isn't it? Uh, that is the airport, right? I'm assuming so. Oh no, hang on, that's the airport. Right. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it looks like it. It does look like it. So let's uh, fly in over the airport again, because obviously that's going to be the sort of important part. Looking around the area. Swing back in on the runway, actually. Come on, keep swinging it. There we go. That's for runway 11. I genuinely feel like I've lost the airport, and maybe that's kind of interesting to think that I've lost it. Huh. What do you know? I'll find it again, of course. I didn't think I... I didn't think I flew that far. There it is. Yeah, that is the airport. Right there. Alright, so now let's do a... Let's fly directly across it on a heading of... Uh, to heading of... Uh, Two zero, two zero zero. That should be a good crossing. There we go. 
Turkish fly directly across the airport. So now we can have a really good look at this from up above. I like these uh, farming areas, that's very nice. I didn't think a railway would go straight through that like that, but that's okay. So there's the airport. I'm not going to land back at this airport, we've just had a really good look around at the area. So now what I'm going to do... Oh, I forgot I could do this. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the scenery and come back into, uh, into X-Plane at this airport and then we're going to see exactly what we get. Okay, well, um, again with the strobes. This is a big change. Would you look at this? Now that is... Oh, now I finally understand what this taxiway is for. It actually goes up to the fuel station properly. That's what it's used for. This is very different. And of course this is accurate to the real, real life place. This is very, very different. Oh, it hasn't fixed that road. That, it hasn't fixed the road. But look at the airport. It's got 3D grass all the way along it. It's got really odd taxiway markings. I must say the runway center line is a little bit odd, but they said this is taken off actual photos, so I wonder if the runway center line is like that. Who knows? Right, what do we have? Uh, this all looks the same here. This is all different. Look at this, all these trees. All these trees around here are different. These are all different. There are some changes in the area. This is different. Look at this. This area is different. That's different. That area there. Let's see if we can... Uh, if we can zoom out quite a significant amount. Let's see if we can see where it changes. Where Where is the actual change for everything? Okay, there we go. I think we can we can clearly see the area that it covers. So that there, all that there, that all the way along there, you you can clearly see it. There, I think it goes along there. Oh no, not there, there. Along that road. There and then it's a little bit difficult to see where it goes from that point. I'm not sure if it crosses the road. Obviously, it doesn't seem to cover any of this area. I, I kind of hoped... I did kind of hope it would do the city or the town. That's what I was hoping it would do the town. But, still, I mean, that... I think if they wanted to demonstrate exactly what they are capable of, that's a demonstration right there. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. There is something changed on this side. This, this is different. This area here. These houses are different, aren't they? I am fairly sure... Now, I'm going to have to go back, because it's... It, I am recording this at a slightly different time. Um, as in time of day. But I feel like... I feel like these, these roads and these houses have changed. Uh, yeah. I, I am certain that the houses have actually changed and the placement of things. Were well, there not houses here before? In fact, I think there were houses all the way along. All this area had houses, so they've got rid of that. The crop circle things, that are, yeah, they are literally crop circles here. Um, they are exactly as they were. The railway still goes through them. I'm sure that's fairly realistic then. Maybe it goes overhead or as in on an embankment or, or on a bridge. Everything else in the area looks pretty much the same. 
Yeah, everything else in the area looks pretty much the same, but this, of course, is different. This is clearly different. Now, if this were if this were to be combined with, for example, ah, oh, we've got a little bit of a beach here, but then it just disappears. Yeah, look, you can see you can see the start of a beach, and then it sort of goes back to the X-plane scenery, which is a little bit awkward. But imagine this being matched up with like the HD mesh or anything. I think that would really work well. And that, I mean, just looking at this area, that looks incredible. That really does. The colouring and everything looks very much more California as opposed to, well, really that looks like a green you'd see further north. Um, this looks like the sort of green you'd see in California. Slight yellowish tint to it, uh, you know, from the sun, slight burning of the grass in the heat so on and so forth. Should we take off and see what the frames are like? This time let's switch on our strobe lights correctly. Ta-da! There we go. Alright, let's do this. Got to make sure I don't hit uh, November 251 Romeo Tango. Okay, so it has a slight effect on frames. I can I can tell you that now. Well, oh, that's very close though. I wish there was was a way to maybe get rid of that aircraft too. But it's not a huge effect on frames. It's slightly I feel like X plane's trying to compensate. Yeah, I do feel like X plane's trying to compensate here. Maximum power. Positive rate. Gear up. That building's definitely different. In fact, these buildings around here are almost certainly different. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to... Get the heading hold on early. There you go. Make it easier for me. Uh, there we go, like that. Let's get a, a bit more of a climb going, just so we can get up to our desired altitude. As quickly as we possibly can. A thousand feet. Does this look different? No, this this was already there. Yeah, this is this is all standard. Alright, let's start leveling out a little bit. Like I said, we don't need to climb up too high. I mean you you'll be able to see for yourself, of course, because you've just watched this video and the two parts one after another, so you'll be able to see for yourself. Bring that back, bring the prop back. Do that. And turn it around. So look outside. Yeah, so this area looks exactly the same. Nothing's changed in this area, clearly. And yeah, nothing's changed in this area, quite clearly. So that, that's all the same. But you can see that area is a lot more defined around the airport. So it looks like that's where the works actually happened. Which, I mean, that's that's fine. Obviously, it is freeware. It is freeware, and it's it's really an example of what Orbex can do. And for those people who are new to Orbex, this, this is a demonstration of the airport of the airport's uh, area. So let's fly over the airport now. That should give us a good angle over the airport. I feel. And of course, like I said, if, 
if you guys are looking at this and you can see more changes around this area, let me know. Let me know in the comments box that you saw additional changes. That's nice. Was that there before? I don't know. I didn't notice that last time, or at least I don't think that was there. I haven't seen the other video back, so I don't think that was there, but it's possible. I, I will say the houses, some of them look a little bit different. Like, all of those look different. Everything here looks different. Yeah, see, all of that looks different, all of that looks different. These all look the same. But this area all looks different. And imagine that being over an entire area all the way around. That sort of um, photorealistic scenery. Almost like ortho for XP, really. Which I will be showing. But that's very good. That's very good. And for those people who are on the fence about Orbex products, well, there's a demonstration for you of just how good Orbex products actually are. That just shows how good their products can be. I feel like I really kind of want to see this whole area like that now. And of course, something like this gets me excited for the likes of True England that's coming up. Uh, because that's, that's something that they're looking to do, aren't they? Or oh, they're working on is uh, Orbex True England. Now imagine that kind of scenery across the whole of England. Or I don't even know if it's England or is it the whole UK? Is it true? I think it's true England, not true UK. But that would be amazingly good. Yeah, it's still got the grass area there. Let's turn it back. Really get a good look at this. There we go. Obviously, really want to show off the scenery. And again, you can just see clearly that scenery. And once you're in the air, I haven't noticed an effect on my frame rate. It was just when I was on the ground. I think perhaps it's the uh, the sort of the grass and everything. I forgot what they, they call it. Fauna and flora, probably. Foliage, that sort of stuff. Foliage? Foliage. Foliage. Um, yeah, so it's really that that has an effect, but once you're up in the air, it's no effect whatsoever. No effect whatsoever at all. In fact, I'll be honest, this whole area up to the shoreline no, that doesn't look like it's there. It's that area there. You can, you can see, you can clearly see where it sort of breaks off. So I'm assuming that if this was continued, this was all be, this would all be trees. That's what I'm assuming. And you, you can also see sort of where that is merging into the X-plane one. And you see the X-plane one is a lot more square. This is much more realistic. Should we see if we can land the aircraft? I doubt I'll be able to, but um, let's let's see if I can land it. Let's get ourselves uh, going for a downwind leg. It'll have to be a quick swing around because I know there's a mountain in the way. So I am I am aware of the mountain. Very very aware of the mountain. We've still got some distance to it though. We've got some, uh, maybe not as much distance as I, I had hoped. Still, could be worse. Could be worse. Right, I'm going to slow the aircraft down now a little bit. Switch on some pitot heat, why not? And we'll land back at uh, Lima 52. I'm not sure, oh that's our speed slowing down, never mind. So this is confused there, like what are you talking about? And I don't know what it's, what is it even 
looking at that 17.6 nautical miles away. One of these frequencies must be alive with something. 109.5 probably. All right, let's swing it around. Like so. Start of slowing it right the way down. I'll kill the autopilot in a moment. In fact, I will kill the uh, that part. Start getting a descent going. Not too much. Not too much. We're dropping one and a half thousand feet. That's what we need to drop. In fact, I'd rather we brought it into a descent faster, now that I think about it. Because I don't know how far away we're going to be. We're clearly very, very close. So let's bring it into a rapid descent. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's kill the autopilot. Bring the aircraft in to land ourselves. Um, autopilot off. Can't actually see the runway. Oh, there it is. Alright, well, this is going to be a very interesting landing. This is, by the way, this is not how you land an aircraft. Just going to point that out. Flaps, gear. Actually, it shouldn't be too difficult, really, now that I look at it. Don't know what that was warning me about. Yeah, now that I look at it, this is probably not as uh, difficult as I thought it would be. We're still very high. Uh, another stage of flaps, though. That will really help me maintain control of this aircraft. Make sure I actually get the runway. That's the important part. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're okay. No big deal. 200 feet. This is pretty much at sea level. Right, uh, oh, this is actually going to be a rough landing. We're down and hard on the brakes. Actually, that wasn't a rough landing at all. Why does that pull the parking brake? Why does it pull the parking brake when I press that all the way? I don't know. There we go, though. That's uh, a quick look at this Orbex scenery. Of course, brilliant scenery, as you would expect from Orbex. And it's free. It's a small area, but it is free. And if this is your local area, or if you like to fly out of little county airports, then this is the scenery for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on X-Plane 11. Leave a comment in the comments box below, letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. And you can follow me on Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash ecgadget. Last but not least, you can follow me on social media. Uh, that is going to be ecgadgetlp for both Instagram and Twitter. That is all from me, and uh, I think I shall park up right next to November 327 Juliet Golf. So let's just park our plane up right here. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time in X-Plane 11.